Good morning, and welcome to the A.T. Still University Arizona School of Health Sciences Class of 2021 Commencement Ceremony. I'm Dr. Norman Gevitz, Senior Vice President, Academic Affairs for ATSU. This is a very special day in the lives of those receiving degrees from A.T. Still University. All of you now have the tools and the capacity to make a difference in your communities and in the lives of the people you serve. The degree each of you will receive today is not just a credential. It is a testament to your proficiency and competency in mastering a range of difficult subjects. Congratulations. We are proud of you. Your faculty and administration wish you the best, and we look forward to hearing from you as you go forward to improving the lives of your communities. Thank you, Dr. Gevitz. Good morning. I'm Dr. Ann Lee Birch, Dean of the Arizona School of Health Sciences. It is my honor to introduce the stage party. Dr. Craig Phelps, president of A.T. Still University, and our honorary degree recipient and guest speaker, Dr. Javier Cardenas, neurologist and director, Barrow Concussion and Brain Surgery Center. Graduating class of 2021, today I stand with the Arizona School of Health Sciences faculty and staff in celebration of you. Physician assistants, athletic trainers, audiologists, physical therapists, we celebrate your accomplishments today with you and your loved ones. What a year this has been, filled with trials and tribulations, loss and grieving for many, yet a renewed sense of hope as we look toward continued vaccine distribution and herd immunity. There is a reason that all over the country, in small towns and in cities, people stood in their doorways to applaud healthcare workers who were caring and continue to care for patients with COVID-19 in our hospitals, community health centers, skilled nursing facilities, emergency rooms, and urgent care units. I would like to suggest to you all that you are quite possibly entering one of the most vibrant times of your life, where your skills and humanity have never been more needed in communities across the country. We celebrate your graduation from ATSU today as you exemplify all that we believe in, whole person health care, commitment to the underserved, educational excellence, and community. All of you arrived here with vastly different trajectories as your stories. Your diversity enriched our learning culture and is central to the effectiveness of care in our communities. Graduating class of 2021, you will take your new knowledge, skill, professionalism, and this steady commitment to compassion and integrity and make a difference in the lives of so many. Each day, you have the chance to raise someone's quality of life through better hearing, improved function, improved balance, the ability to walk, the ability to play a sport again, the ability to return to work or have a day less marked with pain and suffering. Your profession is a gift to be opened and reopened, never put on a shelf, and to be cherished. Continue your engagement in lifelong learning and know your capacity today is a vessel half filled, ready and waiting to accept new ideas, new technology, that next piece of evidence or research that resonates for you. The spirit of innovation is alive and well at ATSU. Carry it with you. Leave yourself enough time for reflection, unplug, and let your imagination breathe as you think through the course of your day. As you approach each patient, the child, the athlete, the mother, the grandfather, look for the individual, the whole person, and make the connection so central to one person healing another. Each choice you make as a health professional not only shapes someone else's life, but contributes to the person you are and want to become. Finally, class of 2021, come back and visit us often. Your faculty, friends, family, myself, Dr. Gevitz and President Phelps all congratulate you on your very significant achievements today. It is now my honor 
to present today's commencement speaker and recipient of the ATSU Honorary Degree, Doctor of Humane Letters, Dr. Javier Cardenas. Javier Cardenas, MD, is a neurologist and the director of the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center. He is board certified in neurology by the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology. Dr. Cardenas' expertise involves concussion, post-concussion syndrome, spinal trauma, and traumatic brain injury. He is a member of the American Academy of Neurology, the National Football League Head, Neck, and Spine Committee, and the Arizona Governor's Advisory Council on Spinal and Head Injuries. Dr. Cardenas received his medical degree from the University of Arizona College of Medicine. He completed a residency in pediatrics at St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center and trained in child neurology at Barrow Neurological Institute. Dr. Cardenas has established the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center, which is the nation's most comprehensive concussion prevention, treatment, and education program. He also established Barrow Brain Book, which Arizona high school students must complete to participate in school sports. It is the first mandated online concussion education and testing uh, tool for student athletes in the country. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Cardenas. Thank you, Dr. Birch. Students, as the academic year comes to a close and we conclude this chapter of our educational lives, we are forced to reflect upon the past 15 months. Unprecedented and uncertain are overused and now cliche words, but this was an experience shared by all of humanity. The last year was about three things, health, science, and leadership. I have yet to meet a single person who has not been affected by COVID-19, whether they were suffering from the illness, exposed, or dealing with the consequences. Health and health care was front and center. Treating the disease remains a challenge. Stopping the spread, incredibly difficult. The pandemic has also revealed inequities that some knew but was shown to all. Black and brown Americans suffered most directly and indirectly. The essential workers are disproportionately from minority communities, while the privilege and luxury of working from home is disproportionately from white communities. I can't breathe are words spoken by many who suffer from COVID-19 pneumonia, but also from that of George Floyd. While the health of our bodies was being ravaged by a novel coronavirus, the health of our nation was being ravaged by systemic racism. Like treating a disease that ravages the lungs, science proved that it was a knee to the neck that stopped a young man from breathing and not opiates. And what of our mental health? The pain and suffering has not all been physical. The isolation, emotional distancing, rising rates of anxiety, depression, and suicide. This institution's mission is to prepare highly competent professionals who focus on whole person health care. And I realize that some of you thrived in this new environment, but I also know that many of you suffered. And for that, I apologize and I'm sad. Now let's celebrate science. Science is what is going to get us out of this mess. From the new treatments that reduce the morbidity and mortality of COVID-19 
to the fastest development of a vaccine in our human history. Correction, several vaccines. Now, while that development was clearly too late for over three million humans across the world, tens of hum millions will be spared because of it. Now, some of you may argue that politics were just as dominant as health and science. I argue that it was not politics, but leadership, or a lack thereof. During this time, we all witnessed good and poor leadership on both sides of the political aisle. More importantly, we witnessed leadership up close and personal, whether it was the neighbor who brought toilet paper to others, whether it was a coach who canceled a game, or a stranger who took a moment to say good morning and asked how you were doing. Your educators, administrators, and staff committed to continuing your education and training. They stood tall and firm to provide you with the tools to care for others. Coming out of this pandemic, I request that you ask yourselves the following questions. Am I a better person for having survived the pandemic? In the future, will I continue to be? Am I prepared for the next crisis? When it strikes, will I hit it head on? Will I adapt? When the variables becomes constant and the constants become variable, how will I respond? You will respond as graduates of A.T. Still University's Arizona School of Health Science, leaders prepared to care for the whole person. Thank you, Dr. Cardenas. Graduates, are you ready? Now it's your turn. The Master of Science in Physician Assistant Studies is a program for postgraduate practicing physician assistants seeking to enhance their knowledge and skills in clinical medicine, education, and or leadership. President Phelps, the candidates for the Master of Science in Physician Assistant Studies has, have successfully completed the requirements for their degree. Upon recommendation of the faculty, I have the pleasure of presenting them to you at this time. Presenting the candidates for the Master of Science in Physician Assistant Studies graduating class of 2021 is Ms. Lori Weber, Instructor, Physician Assistant Studies Program. Jeffrey C. Abuke. Crystal Alexander. Barbara T. Anderson. Manuel D. Cabrera. Jeffrey A. Cronin. Diamond Daniel James E. Delaney Donald A. Dexter Thomas D. Juaperi Maria R. Kelly Tracy L. Canelli. Diane V. Liga. Walter F. Del Pinal Palacios. Jared M. Robertson. 
Samuel J. Sperry. Andrea L. Stevens. Sonia M. Troxel. Alyssa R. Waitkus. Rochelda C. Williams. Tiao Xiong. Upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and the senior vice president of academic affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arizona, I hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Science in Physician Assistant Studies with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. The Doctor of Athletic Training degree develops clinical and academic leaders who advance the athletic training profession. Doctors of Athletic Training serve as expert clinicians, educators, and administrators with advanced knowledge and skills for analyzing, developing, and implementing practical solutions to improve the delivery of athletic health care and health outcomes of physically active individuals and their communities. President Phelps. The candidates for the Doctor of Athletic Training have successfully completed the requirements for their degree. Upon recommendation of the faculty, I have the pleasure of presenting them to you at this time. Presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Athletic Training graduating class of 2021 is Dr. Tamara McLeod, Professor and Director, Athletic Training Program. Kristen Agena, Kenneth Ashley, Daniel Berenger, Cherry Bowen, Nicole Briones. Nidia Cabra, Anna Dufferin, Peter Estrada, Elizabeth Harrison, Amanda Hawks. David Heath, Joshua Onrado, Matthew Moreau, Nicholas Philpot, Catherine Elise Poland. James Southard, Jeffrey Timlin, Nicole Titmus, Heather Van Opdorp, Courtney Watson. West, Tanya Whiteman, Alicia Yamamoto, Thank you, Dr. Birch. Upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and the senior vice president of academic affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arizona. I hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Athletic Training with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations.
Audiology is the science of hearing and balance. The Transitional Doctor of Audiology is designed for audiology practitioners and provides advanced post-professional education focusing on diagnosis and management of auditory and vestibular disorders. Embodying the spirit of lifelong learning, audiology graduates possess enhanced clinical and business knowledge to improve quality of patient care. President Phelps, the candidates for the Transitional Doctor of Audiology have successfully completed the requirements for their degree. Upon recommendation of the faculty, I have the pleasure of presenting them to you at this time. Presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Audiology graduating class of 2021 is Dr. Andrea Rotolo, Associate Professor and Director of the Post-Professional Doctor of Audiology program. Shamim Abdul Aziz. Asil Amigbel. Tanya Altman. Cheryl Blair. Lynette Brown. Lisa Buckingham. Natalie Boutress. Jennifer Cornejo. Karen Dale. George Michael Everett. Jolie Fanberg. Carolyn Franks. Megan Guidry. Casey Johnson. Lanchi Kim. Manoj Kumar. Hector Kaipuros. Mary Lippet. Annette Lualhadi. Joanna Maroth. Priya Nair. Carmel Pace. Stephanie Pallet. Tanya Penn. Taylor Rushbrook Dickey. Leanne Schwab. Susan Jacqueline Shriver. Rhonda Sosa. Kelsey Spurrell. Sharmila Shreddy. Julie Catherine St. Marie. Lee Talman. Chi Him Tam. Bettina Turnbull. Monica Oot. Sarah Wilson. Thank you, Dr. Birch. 
upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and the senior vice president of academic affairs and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arizona. I hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Audiology with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Doctors of Physical Therapy serve as primary clinical care practitioners who promote optimal health and function for individuals and communities. Physical therapists diagnose and treat dysfunction of musculoskeletal, cardiopulmonary, neuromuscular, and integumentary systems among individuals across the continuum of care and lifespan. By empowering, educating, and enabling those with impairments, activity limitations, and disabilities, physical therapists facilitate greater independence, health, wellness, and enhanced quality of life for those they serve. President Phelps. The candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy have successfully completed the requirements for their degree. Upon recommendation of the faculty, I have the pleasure of presenting them to you at this time. Presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy graduating class of 2021 is Ms. Jennifer Beal. Ramil M. Abnales. Hamidu O. Ajay Poju. Oladapo A. Akinsiku. Jennifer K. Allen. Katharina May M. Alonzo. Niluvar Sadat Atri. Kalpana Alvula Vinaya Balaraju Sarah Bogner Christine J. Buchanan James V. Buchanan Aline C. Kataman. Aleda M. Chambers. Anaga Cherian. Stephanie L. Kozat. Catherine S. Cusack. Denise D. Diener. Gina C. Duasan. Jennifer A. Eagles. Justin R. Fiola. Roland Fontanares. Farima Furohita. Zuleka Galdon Soler. Kashish Gold. Catherine M. Grumbine. Connie L. Gutierrez. Stephanie R. Hahn. Solani Jane. Amit Kalra. Abasi S. Kapasi. Dana A. Lewis. Michelle M. Lirette. Yonera Madrero.
Ellison L. Marshall Shri Satya P. Mediti Maitri V. Metta Parshwa R. Metta Molly A. Miller Amanda S. Minjaris Priyank D. Mystery Janice S. Moore Katana Munangi Carrie L. Musfelt Luis Navarro Rima A. Pandia Isamar Perez Martinez Mansi B. Patel Rebecca A. Peacock Sonja J. Peak Ellen D. Pendleton Diane M. Perini Maria C. Pinto Yashashri S. Prabhu Jedrick Allen Christopher C. Kutsan Pradeep Rapali Kimberly A. Rios Santana Yadira Rivera Felicia K. Robinson Nelson Roman Pooja Shah Lizette V. Torres Clairedale Tumulac Benson Varky Carrie L. Vietti Amanda L. Walrath Constance K. Weingarten James M. Wortley Richard D. Wortley Terry L. Young Dr. Birch, thank you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty dean and the senior vice president of academic affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arizona, I hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Let's give our graduates a round of applause. Thank you, Dr. Gevitz, Dr. Birch, Dr. Cardenas. Thank you, Student Affairs, our folks from Communications and Marketing, and our IT team for putting today's virtual graduation together. Graduates, 
At this time, it's an honor to welcome you into the Alumni Association. As president of AT Still University, I want to take a moment and congratulate you, your families and friends. What a great accomplishment. Many years of hard work and dedication went into what culminates today as an important opportunity to move forward together. I'd like to induct you collectively and individually into the ATSU Alumni Association. You will never be far from the university, and chances are, wherever you decide to spend your career, you will be around other ATSU graduates. Faculty and staff, thank you for your dedication to provide a wonderful and quality education to these wonderful graduates. Deans and cabinet members, thank you for your help and leadership. But graduates, today is really all about you. Today is one of the most important days in your personal and professional life. From today forward, you will wear the mantle of a healer. It is important to remember that your education allows you to provide high quality care, taking care of individuals, families, and organizations. No one is better prepared than you, and no one can do it better than you. As Drs. Birch and Dr. Ann Cardenas said earlier, this has been a most difficult and trying 16 months. I want to thank them both for addressing and talking about some of those important issues. But I want to thank our graduates who went through this, probably very scared and apprehensive at first, as we all were. But as the months passed, and more knowledge was gained, and folks understood how to be safe. Toward the end of your clinical rotations, toward the end of your online experiences, you became some of those authorities, guiding patients, families, friends, and neighbors through the instances mentioned earlier, not just the physical and psychological consequences of COVID-19, but those other areas that affected our country the systemic racism mentioned, and some of the other challenges that were talked about today. Dr. Andrew Taylor still summarized in his works, finding disease is pretty easy, but finding health is our true mission. As we move forward, we wish you the best in your career, and until we meet again, Godspeed. Thank you.